Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought I would do my first project share on this altered book that I've done. Um, this is the book that I showed in my introduction video. Um, I made this for my baby shower for my guests. I wanted everyone to have a place to sign my daughter a little message um, at her baby shower. I thought that would be really cute. When I made this book, I kind of think I made it a little bit too big. I didn't think about the fact that I was putting in all of these pages for people to sign when I only had about 40 to 50 people at my shower. So there was really just no need for like 100 or you know 200 pages each side. So it's a little big and it's a little sparse. So I thought that eventually I would print out pictures from the shower and then place them in here. I just haven't done that yet. Um, but I'd like to share it with you. So anyway, it's an altered book and I just did some crackle design here on the cover. Um, a P for her name, which is Penelope. Some butterflies. Um, I really like the way the crackle came out. I used a texture paste um, and a crackle, and so there's pink underneath this like midnight blue. I was gonna do it the reverse way, but then I kind of like the way that the dark looked with the like pink peeking out and the pink P. And so, and then I did um, some embossing on the side, just the regular binding, more embossing, and yeah, that's the cover. That's the back. On the inside, did the library card pocket because everybody does library card pocket. I kind of like the idea of it and just doing her name and the date of her shower. And then this little stamp here it says postage one penny and her name is Penelope and I call her Penny so I thought that was cute to put there. And I loved this, I think it's Maggie Holmes most likely, this um, paper here, the ballerinas, I thought that was really cute for um, a little girl's book. So, and then just did a little book page cut out here. Um, found these little pins at Michael's and I thought they were so cute. Uh, a little fold out, um, some book pages. I got this book from a thrift store and it just had a ton of animal. It was an animal themed book and so, and I love animals and I thought that she would love animals. So I just included this, it's not, the matte paper, it's sort of that like shiny paper that you can't really, well you could write on it, but it's just, you know, it's not the nice regular matte paper, but I added it anyways. So I just wanted to include some colored papers. I got, I don't know, I don't even know where I got this paper pad from, I think Hobby Lobby. This is baby. Tea dyed papers. I took a clear, um, what are these called, plastic folder things, and added some scrapbook paper to the end and then included this little card and some little cut out stars you can see there it's kind of like a shaker pocket just it's not enclosed so book page um little flip out it's kind of cool i'll just skip through this a little bit oh this is a little pocket that i made with the same little safety pin and a little clothes pin Sorry, am I completely out of frame or was I out of frame? And then more book pages, long note from a friend, which is so nice. So I thought here, you know, I could include some, maybe some pictures and um, decorate it just a little bit more. So some cute little washi that kind of reminded me of children with the big numbers pages and these were just project life cards um, that I just included from the baby series so I just included those in there and it was kind of a nice journaling card these are all little project life cards as well I love this Bambi book, it's so cute. So just a lot of really cute little messages for her. I tried to use really girly papers, the bows, the pinks, did some star punching. Someone actually wrote on the doily here, which I thought was really cool. Um, this little baby ducklings, 
I did some sewing. I was just practicing. And a little pocket here. Music paper. This is the start of a new signature. More of these little Project Life cards with a little clothespin. Little pocket here. Sesame Street. I love this Sesame Street book. It has that nice thick um, matte paper as well. So it's kind of a vintage Sesame Street too. So somebody wrote here right on top of the book page, which I think is so cool. I really wanted people to write just anywhere. Here I was experimenting with tabs. I got a Spellbinders tabs die set that I really like, so I was just trying it out. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And then this cute little um, teacup envelope that I found at a thrift store. I thought that was just adorable. And it was there was only one of them. I wish there was a pack, but. And then in the back with the more of the ballet girl paper, some washi down here because you know I screwed this part up right here. Um, does anyone else do that? If you do, comment, leave me a comment and tell me what you do to, to fix it when you when this area cracks here. I just figured washi was the easiest thing. Um, so yeah, so that's it. That's my altered book guest book for my daughter's baby shower. Um, I, I hope to make some more of these. I really liked the, the way it came out and I liked the little pieces here and like the raised edges and the chipboard um, letter here. So maybe I'll make some more like this in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and my little project here. And yeah, let me know what you guys do when you mess up this area here. I would love to know. Um, as you can see, the washi job I did here is kind of janky but um yeah leave me a comment down below all right guys thank you take care bye bye